What's up guys, it's your boy Minecraft and me we play back again for another video today. We are doing a review, another review. Um let me just give you some backstory. I feel like that's the best way to start about this. Okay. August 2nd of last year. As you guys may have remembered, I did a review on this controller specifically. Now, this controller when it was working just fine, it worked very well. There's just one slight problem with that. Xbox has a tendency to use cheap parts on their controllers, so you buy more controllers. I knocked this off after keeping it nice for a very long time. Like, I've had it for about half of, not even, I think less than that. I, I don't even remember. I've had this controller for a very good time. And uh, it worked very well. I kept it nice. You know, I have a nice big desk. Keeps it nice. And I knock it off one time on accident. I wasn't like mad and threw the controller or anything. But I, you know, accidentally was moving in my chair. And I accidentally knocked it over while playing a video game. It hits the floor. Now it has drift. If you don't know what means, it means it could be two things. First, if you have drift, it could be that it's greasy and you have some stuff in between the actual controller part here or inside of it there's a little green square piece um which i don't i don't know what that looks like i, I remembered opening it up but i'm not opening it up for this video but inside of there there's a little green square that basically keeps everything in place but it's a cheap plastic piece of shit so I broke. Poor thing, you know, because it's a really nice control. It's a really nice design and everything. And I only got it last year for my birthday, you know. So, you know, sucks, it sucks. But today, the Cora Lee controller. Now, you guys may be asking, oh, well, Jonathan, you don't have any of the parts to come with it, you know? You just bought the Cora controller. Which, on my part, I don't like the back paddles. I really don't. Um, not really a big fan of it, but I'm, I do like to at least have the two top ones. So, we bought a cheap uh, metal, obviously, alternative on Amazon that we're also going to be checking out today. Go ahead and just get this out of the packaging here. So I think we'll we'll start with this. Something small here. Right here, it should have just like I think maybe the thumbsticks. Yeah, thumbsticks. I want to make sure I didn't like. Oh, I did not off a piece. Now these are all metallic pieces too. Still, so everything's in there. Metal, metal, metal. I'm glad it's metal because I was afraid that it would be plastic pieces. I was afraid, but there's the interchangeable stuff, which again, I'm only gonna use, you know, the two back um, pieces. So probably, what I'll probably end up doing actually is taking, first off, you know, I do like these different type of thumb pads here, but I haven't opened up the controller itself yet, so I don't know what I want to put on it, you know. I'm not gonna do full setup today. I'll probably turn it on and uh, it'll probably need an update so I can't show you guys on Xbox, but I bet there are plenty of videos of, you know, other people opening it up and checking it out. So I'll probably take these two metal pieces out for the start, you know, just for the start right now. But it's a little small compact case because, you know, I don't really need a case for it. So, let us get to the actual meat and potatoes of this, you know, like the real cool thing. It's the um, Xbox actual light controller. Now, cool enough here, I actually purchased this because I got a discount through Game Pass Ultimate. I got a discount on it because I own it, and I used a little bit of the hardware shop, like I used some of my uh, saved points to get the hardware shop um, money. So 
I got this controller, I want to say, for $95. For sale and everything, yeah. $95 for this controller. Again, really well uh, built and everything. And it's basically the same, it's basically the Elite controller, except without the padding, which you can buy separately. You can buy, there are a bunch of different colors. Obviously, I brought the red one to match the red. But I've seen people that have had like gold, matte black, metal black, uh, metallic gold, silver, white, blue, you know, you can buy a bunch of different colors. I think green was one of them, you know, but let me show, oh, we got a second piece of tape here. So really, like you can buy it separately and I think it would be, you know, cause this one, you actually get a cool color instead of straight black, but it just depends on what type of, you know, style you're feeling for and I'm trying to do this nice and easy because premium you know how it is premium be premium now let me see if we can keep the controller in here BAM oh dude it already looks so fire the the white and the red and the black mix so well together so let us take that out underneath here there is uh, now you do not get the wireling charging pad when you buy this, when you buy the cord. You do not get that. You get a, I want to say, you do get a big ass wire though. Like huge, huge. Here, I'll show you what it looks like. Because this thing is huge. I think it's 10 foot big big wire big huge wire it's already hitting the floor like it is a huge wire really nice you know really come back and again this controller doesn't use batteries so you actually have to charge it using the charging cord that they come with or any USB-C would recommend you know doing you know Xbox's wire just for the fact that you know um, Design thing here. Little stuff right there. And one of the plastic pieces to tweak your controller. Alright. Pretty, pretty fucking sweet. Alright. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's it out of these. Yep. Go ahead and put this back here. All right, so, well, let's get to the controller here. So the controller, this is what it looks like. Here's the back, here's the back, here's the front. Everything is metallic. You can still take everything off just like in the normal one and it does come with the little tweak here where you can just I think tighten it you know and make it make it your own obviously which is really cool um a d-pad let me put that back um, and again, you can buy these parts separately. So this is what I'll do. This is what I'll usually have on. I'm not really the cool use all four. I'll probably just use these because it kind of makes it feel like it's still a normal controller to me without having those back buttons hit these parts. And I'll still have the capabilities of back button. Now again, you do not have you do not have a battery pack, so you cannot open it. Um, and usually, these stuff, this stuff is premium, and I'm pretty sure they give you a. Which you should probably check in the box. They give you a warranty, I think, for it. So if it does break, which it shouldn't, because it's a premium product. It depends on how well you keep your stuff nice. I hate to see it happen, but not a lot of people keep their stuff nice. It's pretty sad when it comes to that type of stuff 
but people that say that the product is terrible it's not because the product is terrible it's because the people that have used it abuse it and they don't take as well of enough care with it and i hate that people you know try to play it off and say that the product is bad by itself because uh for example now obviously we're talking to xbox here but i'm just gonna do a little side thing the joy cons for the nintendo switch okay people have said that those are terrible these right here are my joy cons i've had them for about a year not a single one drifts and they've said that the it is really bad and it only lasts for about five months and then you'll start getting drift no it only happens if you take it only happens if you don't take care of your stuff if you take care of your stuff it will last well but the fact that this is a premium item and you know there's actual so the metal that little plastic square piece that i was talking about it's actually metal on this controller so it's actually built better than the core controller so if you do have the money for a new controller maybe it will be worthwhile either um, saving that money and getting one of the pro controllers or wait until they're on sale or you know renewed or whatever and get them then or you can buy the core control you know i'm not telling you what you should do but i'm just saying and you know obviously i've only had that controller for so long i knocked it over one time immediately had drift not really a good look for you xbox and it kind of sucks because that's it's kind of the console i play on all the time is xbox so it's not a good look so far xbox so um hopefully they will up their um even their normal like controllers hopefully they'll uh, improve that but in the meantime uh but uh in the meantime you know who knows they're a big corporation they do whatever the fuck they want anyway i w really cool controller shout out to mom again very cool controller she bought me this she knows i've been struggling the drifting just keeps getting worse so shout out to mom on that one um so i will see you guys in the next video i guess yeah peace